Get that World Cup feeling with DSTV Football Buzz. Subscribe to DSTV Africa on YouTube. Okay. Okay. Welcome to DSTV Football Buzz. Um, we're talking everything World Cup in the build-up to Qatar 2022. And in this episode, we are talking favourites to win the World Cup. With us, we have Nathan Kwa from Ghana, Carol Radul from Kenya, and Dipsy Selawani from Botswana. Let's kick it off. Let's get straight in there. Carol, who do you pick to win the World Cup? Hands down, France. And uh, yeah, I do have a secondary team in Africa, but I'm going to say hands down, France. I think uh, being the defending champions, they already have a leg up. And uh, if I was Didier Deschamps, I'd actually be spoiled for choice on who to select in my lineup. Not too much pressure as defending champions. No, no, well, I just hope they don't repeat what they did in 2002, which uh, was win 98 and then uh, uh, fumble in 2002. I think with the players he has right now, the form Benzema's in, Pogba always turns up for the national team. Uh, you have Golo Kante if he can stay out of injury. The back line, Saliba, if you see what he's doing at Arsenal right now. I think with the players he has, if they focus, um, it's their World Cup to lose. Dipsy, do you agree? Uh, I think we're going on sentiments here. So <laughs> I'll take it off with, <laughs> with Brazil. I mean, I've been a huge fan of Brazil for, for the longest time. The past few World Cups, they've been struggling a little bit. But my heart tells me Argentina. I mean, if you look at what's been going on within the camp and Messi now trying to step up, he's got a different challenge. I... I I, I think he can inspire the team for his first World Cup final and win. I think Brazil. sentimentally, by the way, it would be really nice <laughs> to see Messi win. And they are <laughs> the champions of uh, Copa America. But uh, nah, 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 nah. I, don't think, I don't think so. But really? Dipsy, let's talk Brazil. Obviously, in their group with Brazil is Cameroon. Cameroon can't give Brazil yeah. any headaches? Ah. Uh, I, I I don't I don't think I so. Don't think um, so. Looking at the Nations Cup, I think the stage is a little bit uh, a little bit bigger, but uh, I, I'm hoping they they do come out of the group. I think that's what's important for us as Africans. But at the same time, we also have to be realistic. You know, when we face some of these top top teams, we fall short a little bit. You know, I, mean, I think we remember 2010 when we had a. Uh, an easier chance to get into was it the semifinals and we fumbled yeah, so yeah. yeah we still have that to to deal with i mean psychologically already here we are on this platform and we're thinking france brazil argentina instead of our own african teams okay nice and who your pick then for the world cup i um france i i i say france no country I mean, if, if, you, if you are defending champions, you have to be considered in the equation as a country that could potentially win the World Cup again. If you look at the team they have, and Carol rightly mentioned, they've got a stacked team, a team that's got talent running through from top to bottom. And if you have a player like Karim Benzema in the form of his life, you cannot write down your World Cup picks and, and not add France. So I will take France. Even though I wish Brazil could, could respond, I just don't think Brazil have what it takes to to give France or some of these other countries a, a big challenge. Holland have not been in the World Cup in a while. I don't know the kind of shape the Netherlands are in, so I wouldn't add them to my favourites. But I think France, you've got to look at France and, and think that they look like a team that can show up and, and win the World Cup. But of course, countries like Spain are in there. Maybe Portugal, Argentina look like a team that could give Messi a, a last push at, at winning the World Cup. And they look like they have the team that could uh, cause problems in, in the next World Cup. Okay, I am disagreeing good. with him. I'm disagreeing with uh, Nathan saying, mentioning Spain in there and some of these other teams. <laughs> um, I what about our team out of Belgium? <laughs> Belgium, not dark horses? Belgium have an amazing Belgium. team right now. Uh, Roberto Martinez, the, the players he has, De Bruyne in the form of his life. I, I think Belgium have a good chance, but I don't think we should rule out Brazil. Really? You know, what kind of players in form Belgium. they have right now? Did what you watch when Vinic- you saw Belgium? excelling at a major competition. Their, their last best performance was what? They were third in the last World Cup, yeah? Do you know, you. in the last two All major tournaments, tournaments yeah. Belgium, Nathan, have been removed by the champions. They were removed from a uh, uh, Euro by Italy. They were removed from the last yes. World Cup by France. So don't underestimate Belgium. I wouldn't right now. No, 
No, I mean, I, I don't, I don't ask that. I don't underestimate Belgium. They've got a great squad. I love them. I love what they do. I love what Martinez is doing. But I keep asking myself, I keep asking myself, for how long are they going to fall short? And the World Cup pool is bigger. For example, look, the last World Cup they finished what third, I think. Then in the Euros they fell short. And you look at this generation and you wonder, do they have what it takes to get them to the very end? And a part of me says no. A part of me hopes they can, but I don't think. I don't think they can win the World Cup. If they do, I'd be very happy, to be honest. Same, but, but same as that. me. Same as me. I, I, I just I, think, I think uh, Kevin De Bruyne is confusing I, us. That's <laughs> quality player. De Bruyne is confusing us. They have Hazard. They have been taken. They have no, them. don't mention I Hazard. Don't think, no. I, I agree with you. I don't think Belgium can do it. I do think we're ignoring Brazil a bit because with the form that someone like Vinicius Jr. was in for Real Madrid towards the end of last season, did you see him at, uh, at the Champions League? Martinelli, they have Firmino, they have Fabinho, they have players in Brazil squad. This could be a rebirth of Brazil. But I think we're ignoring one important country, England. England, yeah. No, no, let's not. not. Always. Let's England. not. Wow. Okay, I mean, I, 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 love even go there I love England to bits, but I think the reason why England will, will not win the World Cup is because of the manager they have. I don't think Gareth Southgate can figure out, say, a plan B if things are going wrong. I watched them fumble the Euro <laughs> final when I think if they had been smarter tactically, they could have beaten Italy to win their first major trophy since what 66. So I don't think that England can win, not because they've got a bad crop. But I think they have the manager who will who will not guide them well tactically. And that's where I think England will slip up. I, I disagree, Nathan. I think Southgate England. may not be the most experienced manager in the world. But with the type of players he has right now, I don't think England has seen such a good squad in a long, long time. That, they got to the final. They, they fumbled the semi-final of the last World Cup. I think England's problem is they win it before they even arrive. I think England's problem you. is they you struggle know, under you, pressure. You just mentioned that. If they, if, they start, no, but if they start making It's Coming Home videos before the tournament starts... Let's quickly touch base on the African continent. Who is your yeah. favourite African team to do well at this World Cup? Quickly, Carol, let us know. What are your thoughts? Senegal. 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 I mean, Senegal. They're, they're, on a, they're on a good role. And Nathan, do you agree? Leadership. Um, yeah, Senegal. I think that if, if any country can do it from Africa, it looks like it is Senegal. I mean, they have the crop of players. They have the, the, the coach who's extremely experienced, who's very focused. And they seem to have a, a, a bond and togetherness that uh, some of the other teams uh, don't, don't seem to have. I think Senegal have just been consistent over the last <laughs> two years. Actually, even since the 2019 World Cup, where they, uh, sorry, AFCON, which, where they lost the final. Um, who's I think the key player in Senegal? Senegal? If you had to pick Sorry? one a key player for Senegal besides that Mane, obviously, who's key for them? Uh, goalkeeping department, uh, Mendy. He better not fluff like he did for Chelsea <laughs> the other day. Um, <laughs> Koulibaly in good form. Yes, well. Koulibaly. Yeah. Um, Senegal, I think, uh, could be the team to shock everybody at this World Cup. And to be honest, I don't think the agree on group something. either. The only tough team in their group is the Netherlands. I mean, Ecuador, and no disrespect to host Qatar, Senegal should get victories there. They should. They should. I don't think they should have problems playing against Ecuador and Qatar to a large extent. I think their biggest test will be when they take on the Netherlands. And I think that's the game they'll have to measure their strengths by and see how much of progress they've made from the last World Cup till now. For a player like Sergio Mane, for example, for all the things he's done, you know, he's won them, the, the AFCON, he's taking them to a World Cup, he's CAF player of the year. That's the kind of level you want to compete at and say, I played against the Dutch team and this is what I was able to do with, with, with my national teammates at Senegal. So I think that that game will be important. It's a good measure of where they are as a country and how much more ground they need to cover if they want to win some of the biggest prizes in, in world football. Of course. And I think let's, on let's that not, note, let's... Nathan, Pepsi, Carol, I think we'll wrap it up. Great uh, episode. Uh, France, obviously, the team to watch. Or is it Brazil? All right. Brazil. Thank you so much for joining us and catch us in our next episode. Get that World Cup feeling with DSTV Football Buzz. Subscribe to DSTV Africa on YouTube.